Ladies, Jan and Joan, welcome. Glad you got my notes. <laughs> On our last minute stream, we were going to meet my brother and sister in law for lunch at a restaurant on a marina out by the water and then the weather called to be crappy and then different things came up and I whipped up some macaroni salad and I cleaned out my spice cabinet and I thought I think I'll stream. Hey Z. So here we are. So I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do. <laughs> First of all, hey Kathy, um, I got a couple things that Denise Love twisted my arm and made me buy. Hey, Devin, Amalia. Hello, ladies. Um, I mentioned her before. She's got a YouTube channel now and is on Skillshare, and she has her own website. It's Two Lil Owls, like little but L-I-L. Two Lil Owls um, does really cool experiments. You know how I like me a good experiments. Watercolors, acrylic inks, acrylic paint, pastels, uh, graphite. All kind of different stuff. Really cool stuff. And um, which is when I saw her do one thing. And I tried to do this monstrosity as it ended up last week. This is how it dried. But we're going to see if we can save it. I'm going to take the tape off. It's been on here for a week. Will it come off without tearing it apart? Probably not. But we'll see if we can save it. So I thought. So another thing. I, I reminded her that people call me an enabler. But she's just as bad. <laughs> Hey, Linda, Pam, Kat. Hello, everybody. Welcome. So um, she has been using some stencils in her art. And I showed you a couple stencil girl stencil I got the other day that she was using. Just these little marks. It makes such a difference. And then uh, these I was forced to purchase. This is a workshop, craft, uh, the crafter's workshop stencil called mini sketch grid just those little bit light lines then i saw this one while i was there and thought well i'll grab those dots and then these two tim holtz one is called dot fade see where this gets fades in and out and this one's called uh, half tone Right. And then I saw this Tokyo one that I picked up that I really like myself as an Asian flair. And I used it last week and we may, actually it's in this collage right here. Right. This little bit of Papa Black there. So I thought maybe we can take some jelly prints that could use a little oomph and maybe maybe throw a layer or two. Hey, Rihanna, maybe throw a little layer or two of something out there. Some, something to see if we can bring some of these to life. A little more. I love just that bronze on the black. And then I added the red. And now I'm thinking, yeah, it probably wasn't the way to go. That's a cleanup of that print. And here's where two prints. These were started out as Robin McClendon's printables. And I did the iridescent bronze fine high flow on the jelly plate. Sprayed with water and, and then picked it up. Which is what I did to this one that turned out fabulous in my eyes and this one oh that little turquoise hint in there and the little flash of bronze well these two got away from me and I think the problem was the bronze kind of sticks to the plate and I did a few prints so when I finally pulled up these prints it's mostly more bronze than it was here when it was a single layer so I think I got overwhelmed with bronze although the Tokyo thing kind of brought it back but so we might do something. We might we're gonna do something. Wow, well, what we're gonna do? We don't know, but we'll do something even if it's wrong. Um, I got a bunch of different jelly prints laying around here. Let me get this out of the way. That was last week's. And Gail is here. Are you able to untape the? <laughs> oh my god, Gail! I I knew when I saw the rubber band there was more to come. Hey, Dot. Hey, Kath, that was hysterical. No, I did not even attempt it yet. I may just leave it like that for a keepsake. Put it in my shrine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Okay. Trying to get some more. Hang on. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, there's, wow, there's a lot of jelly prints laying up here. And tissue, and I don't even know what kind of paper that is. We'll put this in the miscellaneous pile. <laughs> These are slick on the back. This is some kind of tissue paper. This must have been in another jelly printing. Oh, that's probably during the stencil sale. Oh, this is a piece of that stuff I thought would be good in a collage that I got. Last summer at the Dollar Tree. This is unruh paper. Good Lord, I did have a conglomeration of stuff piled up here. These were kind of fails. So maybe we'll play with some of these. Oh, here's... Oh, okay. Yeah, we might have a lot to play with. Good night. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what the world? Oh, these were those. Oh, remember those. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Oh, that needs some enhancing. That too. Oh, that's a swatch of those new Art Nouveau. Hey, Sherry. Art Nouveau. Uh, Genzai Tombi. That 24 set that had all new colors in it. Of course, I figured I had to have that. And guess what I saw today? As I'm thumbing through you, or guess Xander will guess because I told her. <laughs> um, they now have a hundred set that comes in a wooden box, four layers of a wooden box with one hundred, which is every color that Gonzay Tomby Tom Tomby has made. The graphite colors, the metallic colors, this Nouveau set, all the other ones. I uh, thought, you know, I remember passing along my previously first love set that I just wasn't that wild about. Now I feel like I should be wild about them. <laughs> so these can go up there. Oh no, maybe we'll keep these up. This is a very, um, oh, here's the ones I actually had a picture of. This is what I was looking for. These little yummy bits. I got to make some more of those. Little ink on Wow. I'm going to do something with that one. That's my favorite printable ever. That needs some help. That needs oh, here they are. These are the ones I put a picture out with my... I was looking for something that had multiple jelly prints in my pictures, and that's how far back I had to go to get one. Oh. CB! He's doing much better, CB. He's... um. No longer suffering from the big D. And uh, we are transitioning him to um, back to his regular dog food, which he gets Royal Canaan, Royal Canaan uh, Labrador Retriever food. Um, so one more day and he'll be fully back on that food. So he's doing a lot better. And the limp, I should knock on wood, the limp that started this whole thing is pretty much gone. So whether he had something that healed or um i don't know it went away they thought it was going to be a chronic problem but he's he's better with the limp now he's been on a leash outside for the last three weeks so we went to trust him the other day and he ran and just took a fit around the yard like a maniac so no more off the leash for another week or two to try to get him to realize not a good idea. So these sponges I bought because Denise Love made me. They're Amazon. They're just called artist sponges. And she cuts them in quarters. There you go. If you're interested, these give you a little more surface area than the makeup sponges. And I think they'll hold the paint better and differently. Because those makeup sponges that I have, they're very, here's one right here. They're very dense. 
and um, they work, but um, they're hard to wash out. So she usually keeps a little tray of water and cuts these in quarters. And then has two flat sides on each to use. So we may give that a whirl. And she's responsible for me having to have these fan brushes that she uses a lot. I had a little wimpy one. Yeah, wasn't really doing the trick. So um, we shall see how this works out. Judy, hello. I was running around here like a crazy person today trying to get some stuff done. So this week, I went back to work. Well, I attempted to. And my brain was just fried Tuesday and Wednesday. Took off Friday and Tuesday again to take advantage of the long weekend. And um, so I thought, I got to get I gotta get caught up on stuff I haven't been able to do for months. So I cleaned out my clothes closet. The veterans will be thanking me for that. Oh, and this she made me buy. Squirrel. Windsor Newton number four calligraphy brush. Um, and then, let's see, I did my closet. And then I did um, something else. What did I do? My closet. Oh, the refrigerator. Got in the refrigerator and cleaned that. And um, then this morning when the lunch plans got canceled, I thought, I've been collecting different spices that I don't have or didn't use. I'm getting more into cooking as I near retirement. Dave and I have a running joke for about the last 10 years. When we retire, we're going to get this done. So I blame Rachel Ray. She got me hooked for 17 years and her show's going off the air. And I just started watching it this past winter. <laughs> Anywho. Um, but she's got me hooked on a few different things. And one of which is Le Boit Seasonings website. She uses a lot of their seasonings. They have a lot of different unusual blends and stuff. So I've got a little collection going. And um, need a little more space in the old spice cabinet. So now I don't know what can be done with this. But hoping a few layers will <laughs> do something. Oh, mercy. Okay, so let me get my wits about me here. That, that could take some time. Let me get this cleaned off and ready for another go around. Patty, if you run out of things to clean. Oh, that's not going to happen, Judy. I'm so sorry. I don't have that many years left <laughs> for that for me to get done here. <laughs> oh. Trust me. Um make some more elbow room here. <laughs> Don't need my brayer yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I just opened this drawer with art foamies in it. Maybe I'll use a few of those text foamies of Robins to add a little pop of text here and there. Which means I probably should get the brayer back out. See, it was there for a reason. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I um for those of you who have ever been in our basement understand the dilemma of the basement. Oh that may be beyond help, but as God is my witness, once we retire in the dead of winter and nothing else to do, I'm gonna get a I'm going to get something if it's a dumpster or whatever. I don't know. I don't like how this splatter and in this area, it's kind of gray, mucky stuff all around the edges of that. I might have to think on that one a little longer. Give me something easier on the brain to start with. Oh, these were the ones I was using those little cans of that spray paint. Remember getting that little wavy thing happening on the gel plate when I picked up the prints? 
Hey, Ellie. So let's just see what we can do. Got to think. Got to think. What colors am I going to... Let me unwrap these. I can stall by unwrapping these. Unwrap them really slowly. Hey, Tori. Welcome. Gail, I got so tickled when I opened that card. I screamed laughing. Dave must have thought I cut off a finger or something in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, God. The way your twisted mind little works, your little twisted mind works, it's just, it's a wonder. It's like the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> Let's get these dirty. Dirty, dirty stencils. All right. Now, what colors am I going to need? Um, well, let's pick a print, shall we? It's got a lot of metallic on it. So adding metallic probably is not the way to go. You aim to entertain. Well, you hit your target. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um So I have black out here. Is black too stark? Oh, now we'll have this dilemma. Maybe I need something really contrasting. Like maybe a turquoise. Not turquoise. I'm saying, I'm saying turquoise, but I'm reaching for orange. Oops, that's not orange. That's kind of yellowish. What is that? Yellow, deep. Um, <laughs> oh, you know what? Maybe we'll try the PBO orange. Just for shits and giggles. Go ahead, write me up, uh, Gala. I don't care. I don't care. Payne's gray when in doubt. That's always a good backup. Let me get you a little bit closer. <laughs> so, um, let's put a little bit of this down. Purple. That might not be a bad way to go either. Ooh, looking at that next to that. That's, that's kind of contrasty. And I'd tear this up most likely to use in collage, not a big piece of art. So maybe we will throw some purple on there just for more shits and more giggles. All right, where are you? That's dioxazine. And I've already got paint on my fingers. Or maybe the famous Monacrino Nickel Azo Gold. It's been such the topic of conversation lately. Although that's kind of transparent. So that's going to probably change to a green color. Aha! Caught myself. Aha! All right, hang on. I want to get some white out. Whilst I'm here, a white, a little black.
Okay. Let's get it going, people. Um, circles are always good. Let's just, let's dive right in, shall we? Hey, hey uh, Brenda. When I see your name and I see the G in front of Brenda, I want to call you Glenda. Like my friend Glenda. Let's just get to it, shall we? I might have to cut the edges off of these, eh? <laughs> oh, I don't hate that. That's your rocks. <laughs> your rocks vibrating, Z. I mean, uh, Gala. G. G, Z, C, B, P, T, P. Too many initials. Um, let's do this. A little bit of this in the purple. I'll just use the other side of this. I need to get a little tray of water. Oh, I don't hate that. Now I'm thinking to myself, what collage would I use those in? Janet, hello. So don't do collages that this would work in too many times. But you never know. There could be a first very special collage for this one. Oh, look at you. The orange was a good choice. Well, thank you. Um, maybe since I got the orange all stickered up, maybe I'll use this other one here. Let's just get all the stencils dirty all at once, shall we? Let's just use this little a little bit in here. Oops, get on there. Get. Ooh, that's cute. Just a little whisper of it down there. Perhaps. Who said such a thing about Janet? <laughs> Must hydrate. Yes. What the hell did I get on my hands? It's that icky. Let's see here. I can use black and white on this one, I do believe. Maybe a little bit of this action. <laughs> There's that one little stringy bit in there. Give me another. Just put a line of that in there and see what we get. Ooh, that's birdie. That is birdie, birdie, birdie. Okay. Um, do I want more of that scattered throughout here? Let's do a little piece over here. I don't hate that. <laughs> Penny, where'd you get the newsprint you keep on your desk? I buy that by the ream from Dick Blick. 
It lasts a good long time. And then you can use it for collaging too. Yeah, it's a stack of rocks. Not just a rock. A little Zen sculpture. But with my, you know, my brute strengths for pouncing sometimes the rocks wiggle their way off of there. My sister-in-law found, uh, like, it's a Maryland, I don't know, Kathy's here from Maryland, I don't know who else is here. Um, Maryland something rock artist or something, but anyway, they paint rocks and they hide them, like art abandonment. My sister-in-law found one the other day, and then she sent me a text, and she, she remembered finding another one. And she looked back on her Facebook feed, and six years to the day is when she found another one at a completely different area in Maryland on the same day, six years later. Something's happening there. There's a message there. I'm sure of it. You know, I wonder what a little orange. Let's do this. A little orange. I still have a little orange paint through this turquoise bit here. I wonder what that would look like. It's got a little shimmer on it. Let's just see. Just a little, little strip here. Let's go this way so I don't get too high. And that's a little shiny down there too. That's not bad. Hey, Gail. Um, let's do... Let's do something else. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> you know what happens when I wonder? We get completely off track. Do something crazy. Let's put this out here. This is Amsterdam turquoise green. Let me take the other side of this white. That's really, well, let's just do it. In my mind, it was a good idea. <laughs> we all know how that goes. I'm going to do a dot one, though. Let's do a little dots of turquoise over where it's a lot of black over here. And just kind of throw something like that in there. Again, we'll tear these up. So you never know which little piece you're going to get. And let's do some... Um, let's see here. What about this one? Up here in white just because I have more white paint left. This is how I'm making my decisions. <laughs> uh, 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 which one, Sherry? Which stencil are you talking about? I have some from the Crafters Workshop, Stencil Girl, and Tim Holtz that I've been using in this. Yeah, I could have done without that, probably. That kind of obliterated a lot of that. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's let this one sit over here somewhere and dry. Let's see. Let's see. This one could use some. The one that was in the white first squiggly lines. Oh, this big one? This one here? This is, if this is one you're talking about, this is Stencil Girl. It's called Tokyo. I think Natalie Kalbach made it. It says Kalbach L761, but it's called Tokyo. I just loved it. I thought it was very, hey, Janine. I thought it was very Oriental Asian flair to it, which I love. So this has a little bit of bronze and shiny stuff in it. I bet I can add more. 
I wonder how long I got to let these before I put these in water. <laughs> We're going to find out, I guess. Let's do. Here we got some prawns. Yeah, I love that one. Here we go. What are we going to put down there? Let's do. I don't know. What are we going to do? They look like they have, there's little splots all over this that kind of look like, I don't know, similar to dots. So I was thinking maybe something contrasting. Ooh, it's stuck to the paper. Oh, cool. I guess they were having a ton of earthquake. Oh, Lord. Time to go. Did she go to Pigment Tokyo for you? The big pigment store. I always told Xander when I hit the lottery, we're all going to Pigment Tokyo. Notice I didn't say if, I said when. Oh, that's interesting. Let's do that this way up here. So this is the fluid acrylic, so it's less visco viscosity than the um, Liquitex. See, it just floats down. It, it's like a coin there where these have a little dollop. Well, you can't see that from there, can you? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? See the dollop there and the bronze just kind of plopped? I've used similar terms describing Oakley's little mishaps later. Bless his heart. So let's do, um, let's do, where's that little dash one here? Let's do a little black. Just a little here and there. Like maybe coming in from this corner a little bit. There. A little there. <laughs> Maybe a little Tokyo down the middle. I wonder what that would do in the bronze. It would look lovely, I'm sure. Let's do this. Some of these are like pretty vertical lines, and then over here it gets kind of scattered. Let's do the scattered bits. I better put more paint out before I get started. See how there's no, no soft peaks form there. It just goes to a plop. And the fluid is more like, I mean, the high flow is more like water. It doesn't even really plop. It just kind of runs. Oh. See, that quick I forget how... Oops, just saw it, Gala. <laughs> just saw that soft gray comment. And again, because I'm not that smart, and you'd think by now I'd know how to use some stencils, but that's runny, although blurry, it still looks good, because why? It's shiny. <laughs> yeah, I put you over there. This may or may not be a good idea. 
So that's something like this. It's already got some white in there. I'm picking black. Black, black, black on here. Just do a mishmash of things, I guess. Does it really matter at this point? I don't think it does. Let's do some little itty bitty dots. And to go over that white bit there too. See a little pop of black sometimes is all you need. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I just saw your comment again, Gail, and I thought you said it again, thinking I missed it again. Mm. Again, I'm not claiming to be the bright one. Mm -hmm. I wonder... Let's do a little black on this one, but a little less paint. I think I still want to go up and down. Do I? Yeah, I don't know why. I'm going to tear it up anyway. What's the big deal? Everyone is quiet today. Get them started, CB. Raise some hell, girl. They're just in awe of the art artistic expertise they're witnessing. <laughs> Oh, I can't even say it myself without a snicker or two. Maybe throw some white in where there isn't white. And let's put a little blob right here. A little bit there. A little bit there. And a little bit there. That's kind of cool how it runs into the white and you kind of obliterate it. Get that big word. Ooh, I like this one. Huh. I don't hate that. Pop a white. It's the clanking of those rocks. It's very calming. <laughs> well, they are a Zen sculpture, you know. <laughs> I don't hate that. A little black and white never kilt you. I like it. <sighs> Quenching my thirst. What do we have up here that I could... Does any of this need anything? No. No. I kind of like those, actually. Oh, this one we can do something to. This one desperately needs some kind of help. Desperately. We can maybe pull some of that dark purple in and the turquoise that I still have out there. Oh, there it kind of looks like a cow. <laughs> Does anybody else see a cow's face? I would have said a pig with the smush nose, but then the ears, the eyes, the nose... That's going to bother me. I see a pig. I see a cow. I see a clown. <sighs> oh, perhaps we should go horizontal. It just doesn't, I guess because of this drip, makes me think it should go this way because of gravity. Maybe I can obliterate the pig cow critter. Oh, Kathy, I had to adjust my glasses when you said that one looks like a crazy duck. <laughs> Gala. Sheet of black and white striped paper from yesterday. Yep, that screams Patty. Something over the way you turn it. Oh, Lord. Face with a big nose. All right, let's see if we can 
undo that somehow. Oh, mercy. Um, well, I have like thousands and thousands of stencils. So do we want to, you know, maybe I should roll one of, this is kind of warped a little bit though. I'm not sure the art foamies would do good on that warpage. Hang on. Good night, nurse. Oh, you know what? Maybe a little bigger app would break up some of that. But that, I think, should be metallic. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> I need of a good plastic surgeon. Great. Now you need a, it's a face. The shape at the bottom is definitely reminiscent of that. <laughs> I like to hide it in there so it surprises you when you least expect it, Gail. You know, as I'm putting this out there, I wonder if I should just spray it with gold. This one's almost empty. I don't know. I think I'm gonna. Luckily, I have more. That's really not enough. I gotta get the other one going before I... Oh, thanks, Devin. They're always one of my go-tos. I just love that. I don't know what they are or what it says. Some foreign world. <laughs> I'm sure I'm insulting someone. Okay. On my list to do when we retire is to uh, label these damn drawers. I have bronze. I have gold bronze. Rose gold. Rose gold. That might be cool on there. It's called copper buff. That's rose gold if I've ever seen it. Oh, Oh, Lord. My body's hurting from all these big organizing projects I've been doing. See, that's... I think that says rose gold. And with all these pinky kind of colors, that one might look pretty on there. Let's just do it. Here's more gold and a bronze. God forbid we run out of shiny sprays. You can... Right? Oh, yeah, that's on, that may be down towards the bottom of the list. First, we have to declutter to find the drawers. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, but not too far off the, off the track. So what do I want to do with this? Just, Seth says to roll them. So we're going to roll them. Let me just spray this to see. That's kind of a, oh, that's kind of a stream. I don't want a stream spraying them under a stencil. I need a mist. Oh, let's see. I wonder if that holds a little clog there. Oh, that's, that's really like a jet of... <laughs> little jet fuel going there. Let's try. Let's go back to the gold idea. That's a good wrapper. Comes off in one piece. Thank you, Seth. <laughs> I'm just going to eat dirt. We could eat dirt while labeling the drawers. It's not out of the question. <laughs> oh, graduation party. Have fun. Oh, this is a mist. Okay. The mist wins. Now I got to figure out how to hold this down.
That's very misty. Light, subtle, you know, kind of reminds you of me. <laughs> Did I say somebody say Joan was going? Oh, by Allie. Joan's not going anywhere. Who said by Joan? Oh, Deb. <laughs> I first looked at it and thought she said by all. <laughs> okay. Now let's go in for some little. Well, now I don't want to use the bronze with the gold on there. That didn't take away much of the pig face. <laughs> Maybe we need. Let's do. I'm going to let that dry for a second. Well, these are those old government file drawers or like library drawers almost. There's the one big, big one, like the drafting drawers. There's 15 high. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight high of the other more narrow drawers that have the, they're about yay wide and about yay deep. And probably over two feet deep. And that's a lot of opening and closing, <laughs> trying to find something. Okay, let's. Just one. Oh, I see what you mean, Gala. <laughs> Might have to trim the paper. <laughs> Oh, so I'm thinking about this in the darker purple. <laughs> okay, hang on. Oh, that's too many. Hang on. I'm saying hang on too many times, too. <laughs> oh, I wonder if I could see that would be hard for me to stay in one of those circles. Um, you know what? It's a mess anyway. Let's just friggin do it. I said it. Friggin do it. <laughs> Where's my purple? Oh, this is it over here. Okay. Well, this is the dark purple. Here we go. Oh, mercy. Committed. That looks like a pig with an eye patch on. Let's do um, let's do one of these off here. <laughs> Maybe this will take care of this issue. <laughs> of course, it has to have three somewhere, doesn't it? It's not really going to be. We're really going to obliterate it. Pirate pig. <laughs> Would someone kindly suggest a reasonably price? What are we pricing? Oh, 
there. Scale them with her wisdom. <laughs> Walked into a bar. Pig with an eye patch. A rabbi, a priest, and a, and a pig with an eye patch. I heard many jokes story out that way. None that I should repeat. Well, at least on here. Joan's got some ones I could use for a little pouncing. I want something now that's not round. I need something linear. At least that's what I'm thinking I need. Maybe a little bit of this. Oh, I almost flipped off my chair. Oh, what color? White? Maybe we'll do white. And just like this little segment here. I need more white paint. Alcohol ink. Joggles. What are you looking for um, that you're trying to price? Joggles generally have some pretty good prices on alcohol. Oh, on alcohol inks. Oh, an alcohol ink set you did answer me. Sorry. Um, there's so many different brands now. Gosh, I remember when there was only you could get Rangers, which were lovely. And Lord knows I have my share of those. Let's see. Can I keep it to just that one little? Look, I it's coated with bronze <laughs> both sides. Trying to educate about pig folklore. <laughs> Well, you know, this is who you're working with, Gala. <laughs> I don't know what else you would have expected. I'm going to turn it this way because this one's still kind of wet. And I want these lines going down here a little bit. Let's see. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, it's a pig with a freaking eye patch. How, what can go wrong? <laughs> a teddy bear with a rose. Oh, Lord, people. Actually, I like this little bit here, too. Let's just do this whole thing. I'm wondering if the watercolors will reactivate and start tinting that a little bit. I don't see no damn pig in a bar. <laughs> or do I? Let's see, what are we going to do there? Maybe this little bit. Can I do it? I'm going to have to use just the tip of the sponge to get this little section I'm trying to grab here. More or less. More or less I got it. Extendals over every part of the clown but the nose. <laughs> now it's not really a nose, is it? I was saving that for last. Maybe I should set this aside, rethink it. <laughs> hey, Sandra. <laughs> There's little shades of this. Maybe I should spray something else with gold on here that would. Kind of bring this little bit. That's what I'll do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Maybe these little dashes. Dash away all. Oh, what the hell. I've seen many a pig in a bar. Don't get me started. <laughs> oh lord have mercy people let's just do like a quick oh that did <laughs> that was real quick it didn't squirt is it did something happen i know it's squirting i'll do a little bit up here
Okay, stop. Stop it. <laughs> May need something like um keep seeing this out of the corner of my eye. Use that gold paint on your right. Oh, this? That's my bronze. I was trying not to mix the gold and the bronze, but at this juncture, I'm not sure it really matters. Now I see a cow pig hiding behind a bullseye and a white picket fence. <laughs> oh. oh, that was some of my favorite nights, Judy. How to destroy a man pig. So, wow, I don't see a pig in a bar. Wow, this one needs a lot of something. I don't even know if that's possible. Cut it. A peekaboo cow pig. Bacon burger. <laughs> I like the way you think, Janet. Now I'm hungry. I'm going to do a little bit of something. And then we'll probably cut her up. So let's try this. Oh, my brayer's stuck. Note to self, when I retire, must clean brayer's. <laughs> When I do this, I kind of go in different directions because it doesn't always hit it just right. I'm going to try to do this over this big black area to try to draw the eye. Why does all your work have an appendage not to be named? <laughs> hey, Flo. <laughs> I don't know. It's that in black and white stripes. What does that say? I need to get that analyzed. Gail, I'm sure you, surely you have a piece of folklore about that. Well, that kind of got a little mushy. Not that it's going to bother it any. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put a little bit of this one somewhere else since I got all this. All this stuff going on. I like this real fine font. That'll take up a lot of room. Then I'll let this dry and come back and have at it. Mariah, hello. Have you heard the one about a pig with an eye patch in a bar? <laughs> oh, I'm going to come back. I'm going to let that dry and then come back and try it. Actually, this corner looks pretty good just with that on there. I just have to cut it off and get rid of that part. We shall sit that there in a safe place. Um, you know what? I'm seeing these CB things over here. They might be cool to add a little something, something to. Hey, CB, you know what? I'm going to take this one. It's kind of solid. While I have this paint here, I'm going to stamp some of this over it. Oh, see how, how delicate I am with these things.
Let's see, won't that be pretty? It's my little brayer off sheets that I rip off the side of my newsprint for CB. She doesn't get out much and she likes scraps. <laughs> Oh, bless her heart. Okay, where are we? Oh, I have all this whole pile of crap here to do something with. This definitely could use something. That could use something. Everything could use a little something. This one, I'm going to do something with that too. I like it, but it's extra grungy. A lot of the black came up with the bronze when that came up off of there. Um... What's this? That's actually kind of cool. You know what I did there? Do you remember? Anybody remember? Remember Robin's little Asian art foamies that came in a grid of art foam material? And they each popped out nine and no, 12 in a set, actually. And I just sprayed gold through the frame that they were sitting in. Because I thought that was like a, a genius move at the time. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, shit. Where did my... Oh, I said, mark me down for one gala. I said it. I admit it. This. Remember, Gala, you said that was interesting marks on there. Let's see what we can make happen with any of those. What time is it? 2.30. All right. Ay, ay, ay. I bet. Now that I'm doing these text stamps. Hang on a second. Oh, the phone. Oh, here's the other one right here on top. Right there. It gives us that little something, something. I have something in my eye. I had to go to the eye doctor last week. My eye was bothering me for about a couple of weeks, but I was so busy with mom at the time, I couldn't take the time to think about it. And then I was going to go to urgent care because I couldn't get into my GP. Uh, last week, Monday, I guess. And uh, Dave said, don't go to urgent care for your eye. All right. So I went to, um, I just, for shits and giggles, called my eye specialist, not my, he's an ophthalmologist. He does medical stuff for your eyes. And I called him. And I said, yeah, we can pitch in tomorrow at 9.15. So I went in, he said I had non-contagious non conjunctivitis, some kind of an irritant got in my eye. It was swollen and red and felt like it was bruised. And he gave me some drops that were steroid and um, that looks like a sheep. <laughs> Does anybody else see sheep? <laughs> so quaint that I only <laughs> think I swore one. <laughs> Oh, I block most of what I say out myself. We see a sheep. Sweet Moses, we see a sheep. Okay, well, then I'll look at it this way. We're just going to let it be a sheep. Let it be what it wants to be. <laughs> I count sheep many a night. Maybe I'll just hang this, frame it and hang it over the bed. Put a little metallic on there. How bad can that be? And we'll obliterate this little drippy drop here. We'll just see what happens. A leaping sheep ran into a pig with an eye patch in a bar. Oh, that got some miscellaneous little schmutz on it through there, but don't matter. Actually, I kind of like it. These stamps are really nice. I like how she did them randomly and cut them so they're not like a square block of text. This, this one, no, even that one's raggedy. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good, Robin. <laughs> good thinking. So let's do... Let's do something with this. This would be kind of cool, cut up and collage. <laughs> do you clone here often? <laughs> Put an eye patch on the sheep. 
Here we go. <laughs> this is the help I'm looking for. Okay, let's. So this one's going to have to be black and white or a lovely gray, as Gala was saying. <laughs> oh, so why I do it for you, knuckleheads. Um, oh, you know what? That one's kind of screaming. Pictographs. Where? Oh, here it is. Stuck to the other one. Naturally. So, oh, or I was thinking I would do that in black. Maybe I'll just do a little streak or two of black on one side. Need more black paint. Where is it? I saw that sentence, I'm moving to in, in a few weeks, and I thought, God love her, she's not the best with grammar. <laughs> I get it now. I'm not the best with grammar. <laughs> Don't say it, Gala. Let's just do that. What the hell? And maybe do another little... Oh, I got her lined up here and everything. Do a little something down here. Oh, see, that ain't bad. Now, I should have done more, but now I lifted it up. Let's just do this up here. Try not to let that touch and smudge anything. I don't hate that. I don't hate it. What else we gotta do? I got my I got black on here. Let's let's do something. I like the black with the gold. Oh, that's a cute little patch. Well, Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Hi, Marta. I don't hate that. We'll just keep moving along and see if I want to circle back to anything. What are we going to do with this, Gala? You told me to save this. Do something with it. This is the off printing of my hot glue stencils with all the circles and the screen scripting attempt. So, I wonder if we just did bronze over that. Some Tokyo bronze, maybe. What the hell? i got to wipe some of this off. Of that. That's a lot of paint on there, but I knew it had that impression of all those words on it. I was going to be real crafty and roll it on something and then I forgot after the first swipe I remembered. <laughs> oh well. That's okay. Let's just do this.
I either hear a plane taking off or thunder. And it is supposed to rain later. Can't say I hate it. Tiny bit of turquoise. Oh, if you insist. Would you like to see dots? <laughs> you take it back. Good thing I was going in for it. <laughs> Maybe just some white. Yes, dots. Where's the other dot one? I'll let that dry a little bit more. Let's try this. Where are we putting them? Does it really matter? I don't think so. Little bit here, hither and yon. April. Hello. Oh, you're in Indiana. And guess who's moving there? <laughs> oh, hi, folks. <laughs> hi, April's family. We love April. Who said they were moving there? Was it Marta or Brenda? Brenda, G3 Brenda is moving to Indiana. Let's just go back. Let's see. Oh, you know what? Let's do, um, that's deli paper. Just for giggles. Um. <laughs> Hang on, I, have, I did have a thought somewhere. How about a little spray of this through this? No. That just encourages me even more to do it. Would you like to see Gla uh, Gala? See a paper black patch? <laughs> kind of see an eye here and a winking eye there. Side of a nose here. Wait, it's a portrait of Gala. <laughs> Is it going to hurt your feelings if I do turquoise? I mean, we need to fill in some, because I'm going to tear this up and use it somewhere, right? So I need, I need something else. I need to tie her all in. That eye is really bothering me. I forgot to put drops in. <laughs> Gail ate an ice cream. And then look, here's Gail laying over by the dumpster. With a fractured rib. <laughs> Oh, God bless us. <laughs> oh, my God. There's an actual story about that. Little. Oh, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's fill it with text. Ha. Huh. Take that. Where's my... All right, here we go. Oops, what is that? 
a little something that doesn't belong there. this down here. Maybe in the middle there. <laughs> oh, God bless you. It's in there. Yeah, what the hell? We'll put another one up there. Let's do a different one, though. Let's do this one. Uh, oops. Get over there. Is anybody else's weather unusual for this time of year? Usually it's March or April where I have about a week where we can keep the windows open before we have to turn on the air conditioning. Yet yeah, this year, it seems as though that's happening in May and almost June, I might mention, which I'm not complaining about it not being 100 degrees, trust me, but it's just unusual. Chilly in Atlanta, in Ohio. <laughs> Don't jinx it. Yeah, right. I know. I just talked to a friend of mine in Tennessee before I got on, on to stream, and she said it was pouring down rain where she is. Yeah, we have Memorial Day here tomorrow. We have a holiday too. Unusual how, like on the cooler side, Gala. I did, however, put the air conditioning on in February, which is not typical for Maryland. Okay, I'm going to stop with that for now before Gala has some kind of a seizure. We'll put that in the think, think about it pile. Here's the next one on the list. This is another one of Robin's printables. And I picked up some of the bronze, high flow, spread out in the jelly. Yeah, warmer and, yeah, cooler and breezy. Yep. Um. forgot what I was saying. Yeah, but you can see where the, there's more turquoise on it. If you're familiar with this print, it doesn't have all this turquoise on it. All this turquoise tinge is from that pickup. But where it picked up the bronze, it kind of, it was, it's strange how it picked it. It was different. It's got black mixed in with it, which I guess was on the plate back there. But that one looks different. It needs a little something. But I think some text would help it. Honestly, I'm liking the text. Then we might go, we might go a little Tokyo. We might. Mariah, you guys really have a lot of nice new stencils. I was looking the other day and started dropping some in my cart and I got distracted and that's where that ended. But um, a lot of new designs since I've had the presence of mind to look. <laughs> Starting to get a few of my brain cells are regenerating, I believe. Don't say it, Gala. So where are we going to put you? Somewhere where there's not a lot of bronze. I'm thinking right up here. I hope that didn't schmutz it. Dolphin body with tail, eye patch off the page. What the hell are you talking about? Is that what you see in this one? A dolphin body with a tail, eye patch off the top. A dolphin body with the tail. Oh! Here's the tail of the dolphin. And this is the body of the dolphin. 
the eye patch? Not so sure. I'm guessing you mean that little round bit up there. You know, I like that a lot. I think I'm just going to do another one down here. Because, remember, collage, it's going to get ripped up. Rip it up. Let's just put one down here. <laughs> A little day drinking. <laughs> wow. That's really cool, Mariah. You've come a long way, sister. For now, I'm just going to leave that. But I think I might come back with some little dots or dashes somewhere. Um, we'll leave that to the thinking pile. I'm going through some water today. I must be a little dehydrated. You know, this one... Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Never mind. Out of the corner of my eye, I thought I knew what I was talking about. And yet I didn't. I'm going to do, you know what, just on this. This is just a pickup. And it looks like a bluish color because this is that Eclipse Nina uh, bond paper that I like so much. That's the real blackety black. Um, and when you pick up anything light colored, like white or Titan buff, it leaches the color from the paper out and turns this lovely grayish blue, which I do like. So I'm just going to take this because it's not hard to duplicate. And I'm going to see if I can get any of the letters printed with a really light roll right here. I'm not just letting the weight of the roller move. See if any of the text comes through. That answer would be no. Let's just do it again. Now let's just do it this time with some bigger. And now we'll just clean off the brayer because that did not work. I've done it before with different stamps and it did work. I think because that's so fine and I did it so many times, we kind of lost it. But now it's got a little shimmer on there. We'll let that dry and do something over top of that. Oh, hit the camera. Hang on to your lunch, people. Sweet Moses. Only a professional setup here, people. The black chip will reuse, which is magenta. Wow. If I had to leech, I wouldn't mind leeching magenta. Being the color of the year and all that. Oh, I like that one too much to do anything to. That one, that one's lovely. Lovely. Wish I knew how I did it. I know there's a spray paints. And that's some of the bronze with water on it there with that turquoise. But the blue is a spray paint. I do remember that. I think it's gold spray paint in there too that a moment ago Gala poo pooed me over. You probably all remember that. <laughs> um, look how this one shifts. Like you see mostly gray and then you see mostly bronze. You know, oh, let's see. This is an interesting piece that I was doing something to. And that is another one with the, the white. It really turned bluish gray on this one. And it has some bronze in there, but it's some kind of shape that I don't recognize what it is. Something ghosting off of my jelly plate, I'm sure. That might stand with some marks. That was just a, a messy print cleanup. But, but, 
but, but. This was some of that black ink that I just blotted on a piece of paper, watercolor paper, and it did, look at all those different colors, like blue and almost a, wow, that one, it's like it's um, color shifting. It's magical. Maybe we'll do some marks on that. Wait a minute. I think I see a chicken and bar with an eye patch. I don't know. Is it just me? <laughs> oh. That's interesting enough to do something with, but I got to figure out what it is I want to do. I don't know. Let's do something with this. Now, see this? I think just like a text stamp. These were Robin's, um, some of her Asian character foamies that I tried to use that ink with, and it worked, but it oh, wasn't as crisp as I thought it was going to be. But then again, it was on watercolor paper on a foamy, so and it was ink, runny ink, so you can't expect too crisp of an image for that. Um, the chicken wore the eye patch to get to the other side of the road. <laughs> All right, just catching up on the chat. I did not have a stroke. Um, I'm really thinking that that just needs, or maybe some really fine... I have to go get my eye drops. I'm having a hard time seeing out of my boo boo eye. I don't guess this matters which way this goes. This is just some of those watercolor salts that I get from co uh, Boulder Colors. <sighs> you people are crazy. Crazy, I say. Let's just do a little bit of bronze, teeny weeny dots on here. Gonna need some for bronze. Gail is quite the. I don't know. She's got a little statue hooch somewhere in her purse or duct tape to her stomach under her shirt somewhere. Always got a little hooch on her. So, I want to have these real fine little bitty ones. Well, let's just do this. Let's see what happens. I'm going to, you know, since this is splattered down through here, I'm just going to do it off the page. And let it kind of meander. I said it. Meander. Oh, I like the meandering. I don't hate that. Should have kept meandering. I'll just pick it up. I'll just pick it up and go from there. I don't hate that little bit on there. Oh, I would, I would do a little more than worry, Mariah. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Wait till you really meet this in person. <laughs> I don't know. Does it need anything more than that? I mean, I'm not ever going to do anything with it. It's not going to the Smithsonian or anything like that. I didn't even think about bringing out my little Posca pens and doing some dots or lines or something like that. But Now that I thought about it, I'm still not going to do that. <laughs> oh. 
oh, you don't have to worry about this group. Everybody's pretty much all out there. Good or bad. Well, I'm going to set this off to the side for the time being. Now, this is an interesting piece. This was one of Robin's printables. And I did, it was black and white and gray. And I did the bronze high flow watered down on the jelly plate. That's why it looks like all turquoise and a little shimmer here and there. And then I did Robin's uh, ginkgo stamps. Now, see those? I dipped in that black silver ink, right? And then um, tore a piece off and used it in the collage. But I think it's a cool piece. And I think we could do something on here. Um, I don't know, maybe a little white. Let's see. Where's my little... I like this where it's got all this jumbled up text and stuff here. That's kind of a darker area. Maybe we'll, and that one, that one image is kind of dark. So maybe we'll just come through there a little bit. And let it taper off. Oh, I don't hate that. Very subtle, yet it's a little something, something on another layer there. Oh, that's right in line with that. Hey, dumbass, what are you doing? I know, I said that one, Gala. Write me up. Just do it. <laughs> Patty, you can show how you get the turquoise to separate. I don't think I get it. If you don't get it, come on. You're going to get it when I get done with you, girl. All right. Just because it's April. The smart one. <laughs> I show you. So here's my jelly plate. Take a little high flow iridescent bronze, which is a new high flow color. And um, get out my jeller. I'm going to get most of this acrylic off of here. I think it's pretty much off. Yeah. Or it's not really off, but it's dry. <laughs> Let me find one of Robin's printables to pick it up on because that's when they really look groovy. I know I had another one in here of my favorite. Where the heck is it? Hang on, I gotta dig through my pile. Only doing this for April. <laughs> I do it for any of you clowns, don't worry. There we go. We'll do it on this. I really like this one. And I did stamp a couple. Um, of her characters on here in a real light gray, just like a shadowy. Um, I think that was one of those distress pads, the lost shadow maybe, or what was that other one called? Lost shadow. No, they're both lost shadow. I have one in distress and one in oxide. So it was one of those. <laughs> okay. So, and you see this has, this, I don't know if you can tell, but this has a little bluish cast to this print that's actually on the paper. Um, but you see on the back, it's just white. Okay. A little bit high flow on the plate. Roll her out. And it will start, oh, there's a little paint booger. It will start to resist. Let 
little bit too much on there. You really don't need much. And then spray it with some water up high, just a light mist. And it'll make it resist more and start to beat up. And when it sits there for a little bit, you can start to see, see around the edges of those openings where the, the turquoise is starting to separate. The bronze is made up of two pigments. I, pigments. I think it's uh, PG7 and iron oxide coated particle, mica particles and PG7. That's what makes up the bronze. So the longer you let it sit there, see how the turquoise is starting to pop out of it? It's like it's a magic trick. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I don't make this stuff up, people. I want this to not be such a blob that's going to cover something. Although if it did, where would I want it to cover? Nowhere. I love this print. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this. What does that make us go? Oh, Gail. Okay. Let's just plop this bad boy. But do I want the top, the bottom? Do I care? I'm going to try to go up right up against the top because the top is pretty cool with the font that's there. Now watch when this comes through. The back, this will also, because I printed this printable on my home inkjet printer, some of that toner will leach out through the back where it's wet and cause it to get like pink and green on the back. Oh, yeah. And those colors coming out there, they're mostly from the toner coming through the print. Okay, let's see what we got. And that picked up a lot of the bronze that obliterated a lot of the print. I don't do it right all the time. Apparently there's a knack, which I haven't quite yet mastered. I think I probably shouldn't have pushed it, pushed on it that hard. But you can see the turquoise that's coming up, right? Really up in that corner, you can see it pretty good. It was wet up in there and kind of spread around a little bit. And down through this area. Well, now I gotta try another one. <laughs> I know I have more pentacles somewhere. That one's already got some bronze through a stencil on it. Maybe we can use that. I might have to print some more, but oh, here. Oh, no, these are the two that see these two are my favorites. See how that one came out and made that all that turquoise that you see and just that little bit of the bronze and that one, how that came out. How did I do those so good? <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch. It's hard to recapture. Oh, I wonder what if I did this one, what that would do. That's, I love that. It was a genius stencil maneuver with the drop shadow. Looks 3D, but I can easily replicate that. Let's use this one. Let's just do it. What's the worst that can happen? But see, there is, there is a good bit of the bronze still on there. I'm going to use less paint, more water. Less bronze, more what? Oh, Gala, look at you. Taking the words right out of my little pea brain. All right. Less paint. Less paint. Rare. Oh, this might be the ticket. I'm feeling it. Water. See, it's already starting to separate. Okay. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm trying, Pam. I'm trying. It's starting to separate. All right, that's pretty. Now I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna push on it like I did the other one. I'm just gonna let it collect the water and call it a day. Oh, 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 oh. oh that did it. Now you've done it. See that off to the sides where it's turquoise, like over those round washers? They're car parts that she rusts, actually. This is this one here has something to do with brakes. I think it's a big rotor, that half circle there. But see all the turquoise? Let's split out from that. And the font is kind of obscured in there. Oh, and look, you can even see it out the back a little bit. Isn't that cool? It's like I'm some sort of a genius. <laughs> Don't say what kind, Dela. Ah. Oh, let's do another one. Okay, let's do, what time is it? 3.12. I think I'm going to nip it at 3.30. I have this one. It's already partially done. That may be um, good or bad. I don't know. I thought I had more of these printed out. I've got a mishmash of all kind of crap from the last eye stencil sale, all those jelly prints, and the ones I did the Tokyo stencil on. Could have used those, but nope, I already did that on them. That's okay. Okay, this is going to have to be the one. But now, see how much bronze is on there? Let's not screw this up. So what I'm going to do, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've got this out here. Gail told me not to use it, and I'm not listening. Breaking free of her control. I'm going to do a little, like an arc. Look, a dolphin's tail with an eye patch. And then I'm going to tight and buff. I'm not even going to say it because you already know that's how I like my men. <laughs> tight and buff. Okay, so I want to, oh, you know what? Just for shits and giggles. I'm going to see if I get anything off of this. Any impression in there. There's a little bit of a ghosty impression in there from that text stamp. And now. Let's see. Is this going to work? A little bit of tight and buff. This was almost empty. I've been letting it sit upside down since the last time I was down here. Feels like there's quite a bit in the bottle now. Oops. Just a thin layer. How did I get to jelly printing? Where did this happen? Oh, April. I figured. Distracted me. Which usually is not possible. <laughs> oh. Yep. Gone rogue. Yeah, I probably could have picked up more. Well, I don't know. I probably could have picked up more just putting water on it. But the water just splits the pigments. I think once they're on the jelly plate, I'm not sure water would, would do it. Good experiment. Keep that one on the books, Gail. I'll put that next to my curse word list. One bullet of what to do. All the other bullets are things I said that I shouldn't have said. <laughs> rouge. Yes, I've gone rouge. Am I blushing? I knew what she meant. That's why I read it as rogue. It's sad that my brain works like hers on occasion. 
and scary. Okay. Wow. That is rather stunning in person. I mean, it looks like glass or silk or something real slick and smooth with that little dusting of the turquoise in it. I don't hate it, people. Okay, let's put that in a safe place. Now I got to get rid of this schmutz before I try it again. Or it would just be texture. Let's go with texture because what time is it? 316. Watch them o'clock. What did you pull with that? Uh, tight and buff. Golden's fluid acrylic. That's a really, I mean, a lot of their fluid acrylic golden paints have a lot of binder in it. Like the Nicolazo gold. That's a good one. That'll pull everything off the plate, too. And the, I like the Titan buff because it's more neutral. Um, yeah, I'll pull it out and look at it before we before we go again. Okay, a little bit of this. Smooth it out. And this already has a lot of bronze, this piece of paper I'm going to put this on. So, that little bit of the white, like that dendritic kind of print, isn't that what it's called? That one's starting to dry more. Oh, you can't hate that, people. I'm telling you, you can't hate it. So let's see what this one's doing. Here's that first one that's starting to dry. It, it obliterated too much of the printable for me, but I don't hate it. See how that gold, the bronze is going around those little uh, marks that were left on the plate. And this one already has a print of Jones. I forget what that was called. All right. We're going in, baby. That looks so cool, though. Ooh, I hope this looks good on here. Just let it suck up. Take it off. Ooh, drop it. Try it again. Mm, that was... I don't know. It's a lot on there. Let's see what happens when it starts to dry and sink in. Like this area down there looks pretty cool. Where is it? Hello. See the little ribbing up that side, that texture, that lighter colored texture up the side there? Joan stencil hidden, hidden in there. It turned a lot of that, that stuff a greener turquoise than the blue and I think because this was more of a brown uh, warm background than the cooler background on the other one maybe does anybody else see a skull like a sugar skull in there <laughs> uh, oh mercy alright let's try what else do I have in here that I could pick this up with Oh, you know what? I have this. I have partials. <laughs> oh, that's one of that gold uh, Sumi ink. Look how shiny that is. That's Robin's, one of her Kinko leaves. All right, let's try to not add any more. Let's just wet it. Let's see what Gala knows. Used to be the smart one. Maybe, you know, maybe you still got something left. The skull, actually, I think as it's drying, I do see a bit of an eye patch in this area. <laughs> and he's eating a chicken. 
<laughs> Get the drunk butts off the merry-go-round. Hey, we paid for our ticket. We're not getting off till we're damn good and ready. As she gets flung off into the jing weeds. Let's see. Which part do I not mind missing on this? I want all of them. I want all my parts. I don't know. I like this side with these little streaks of bronze over there. And I don't see much of the turquoise coming up. Little bits of it. Oh, I'm going to miss it if I do that. No, I'm not. You know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Oh, look how it went around the ginkgo leaf. And then I'm going to go over here and get that bit with the turquoise over there. And it only lifted up some of the turquoise. I don't hardly see. Well, maybe a little, maybe a tiny bit in here. But there's not a whole lot of the bronze that came up, Gala. <laughs> As one can see. So let's do another one like that that I did before. This one's getting greener by the minute with the, the this pigment that it picked up. I like it. I do. Let's try this again. Oh, that's a big... That looks like a Q. <laughs> oh, mercy. Okay. Why did I do that? Oh, I'm going to put the... Turqu the uh, I got it. Don't worry. I'm back. I'm going to pick it up with this. Tight and buff. And if that smears around because it's wet, I don't care. How did this turn into a jelly printing session? It doesn't take much to distract me. I'm not sure that's a surprise to anybody that knows anything about me. So let me have. I wonder if I picked it up on black. Don't wonder. Just do it. I used a piece of it in a collage. That or it's the rats. <laughs> She's here all week. Night, Rihanna. Thanks for dropping in. I'm hoping I can get back to a somewhat normal schedule and try to keep going in between um, PM Artist Studios lives and, and Xander's lives and sneak in a little bit when I can. When I retire, I'm going to have a bigger streaming list, I think. There's a bigger everything list when I retire. Oh, here's another little ditty. Gail, CB, you'll probably get a kick out of this with your sick minds. <laughs> um, some of you may know that Dave has been in a boot on his left foot since early December for a foot issue that kept getting worse. And anyway, it's almost healed next week. For his appointment on Tuesday, I think it is. They're going to try to stitch this wound shut. On, it's on the bottom of his big toe. It's definitely better, but it's still there. So, uh, not this weekend. Last weekend. Was it last weekend? Or the weekend before? I don't remember. A recent weekend. He had um, a golf trip that he's done for like 40 years with the same guys. Um and their sons do it. And now some of their grandsons participate in this little mini three-day golf tournament. So he said, after this, I'm only going to golf on Thursday nights. I'm going to give up the Saturdays, try to get my foot healed, blah, blah, blah. 
So he goes to this golf thing. He's golfing great. He got like shot at 82, two different days, which is not a pro. He's not a pro, but it's really good for him. And um, he even sent me a picture of the cup with the flag in it and his ball. And then back here is his feet. And he sent me a picture. He said, almost got another hole in one. I missed it by five inches. I don't think that would hold up in court. But he had witnesses and they measured it actually because they were doing a closest to the pin thing. Anyway, on the last day, one of the on the 14th hole, he was golfing and one of the older guys was there with him. And the older guy's ball was over closer to Dave. So Dave said, I'll get it for you, Bill. Don't worry about it. So he goes over and goes to pick up his ball. And it wasn't on a hill. He didn't twist. He didn't do anything. He heard his right knee go pow. Well, <laughs> he now has a brace on his right knee and a boot on the left foot. Oh, well, aren't you interesting? Look at all those little squigglies that came through off the plate. You got to see it at a certain angle to pick them up. He's so shiny. So anyway, um, I... He came in limping. He said, yep, I'm limping. Did something to my knee. Well, his knees are always good. He's never had anything wrong with his knees. So um, I said, well, let's get off of it. Get it iced. And um, I said, he said, I said, I think the way you're limping and moving, I think you should probably go to urgent care or the emergency room. And um, now I'm going to say, that'll probably be all right tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, Okie dokie. So we kept icing it, ice on, ice off, blah, blah, blah. So Monday morning, he gets up, calls out of work. I said, what's going on? He said, yeah, I'm going to drive over to the emergency room. I said, can you drive? Because <laughs> it's his right knee and the left foot's in a boot. He said, yep, I drove all the way back from Pennsylvania for the tournament. I'm fine. So he goes over, was in there for hours. They said they couldn't do an MRI. They did an x-ray. Don't see anything broken. Um the pain's generally in the back of his knee. Um, so anyway, they uh, he goes to see, they just said, here, take this prescription of Tylenol and go see an orthopedic if it hurts in two weeks. So um, we made him an appointment in orthopedic. In the meantime, he went to see his foot doctor about his left foot and he looked at his knee, which he's not a knee specialist. <laughs> And he said he thinks it's, now no, I'll never say what it is. Gala, you probably know what it is. P uh, Petoleus starts with P-I-T, I think. It's a it's a, a muscle in the back of the knee. And he said it's got a, it's a very distinct uh, criteria of pain that tells you that that's what it is. And he thinks that's what it is. So we got him a little couple little copper tommy copper knee braces off of amazon and still icing and hired a guy now to come in and mow the grass i can drive the tractor but all the push mowing and the hill out front and the trimming and stuff would cripple me so <laughs> that's where we are it's a mature list <laughs> of all the stuff we got to do that takes both of us got narrowed down to nothing <laughs> so anywho yeah, that's where we are. So he's, oh, and they, they gave him a slip, said, don't go to work, stay off your foot all week. So he took leave all last week, stayed off of his foot. And um, so we'll see where he is tomorrow. But anyway, okay, it's getting close to 3.30. Um, ask him if he knows what they do to horses. <laughs> that may have may or may not have come up in conversation. <laughs> yep, he wasn't swinging. It wasn't like he said, it, I could have at least been in a sand trap or on the edge of a, one of the water hazards and slipped or something to cause it. But he said, all I did was walk up and pick up the old guy's ball to help him out. And here we are. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Write me down for that one, Gala. But that one was deserved. Okay. So let's see what we did here. I'm going to wrap up. Here's this one that I pulled off earlier. It's now dry. Look at that glorious little rascal, would you? Sometimes accidents are the best. Not talking about my husband's leg. Talking about the jelly plate. 
Don't go to Churchill Downs. We've actually been there. Um, this one, see how it got really green out here? And here's the one that had that more golden background, and that really got green. Don't have anything against green for all you green lovers. I really like that one. That one's pretty, pretty cool. This one kind of obliterated the subject, but I don't hate it. And then we got all this stuff that we kind of did stuff to. Here's CB's little roll off with the bronze Robin's text art foamies on there. And we just did little white lines on that. The little bronze dots on this. Just cleaned the brayer off on that. Text stamp on that. I'm going to add turquoise to this and send it to Gala. Duct taped in a card. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, kind of an inside joke there, you sicko. I do like this one. And here's the sheep with the text over it. Apparently the sheep was born in 1787, as you can see. This was that ink disaster that we'll come back to this another day. I don't have the stomach for it. And this poor thing that started it all. The pig with the eye patch that went to the bar. Here's one of those. See how much turquoise came up on that one? That was one of the ones done the same way. But it's different paper. Oh, you know what? This is that sketch pad paper. And this is on the slick side of that. Somebody remind me. Write that down, Gala. <laughs> this was a cleanup print that I just added some little schmutzies to. And this one. And that one. And there you have it. All right, kids. Thanks for hanging in. It was fun. Oh, crap. Just put my finger in a glob of turquoise and streak that across. See, Dick Gale, if I'd used this turquoise when I wanted to, it wouldn't have been a pile there. So this has become your fault. <laughs> oh, God bless me. All right, kids. Love you. Mean it. Hopefully catch you next week. See, or maybe tomorrow if it's raining, pouring down cats and dogs. I don't, I think a lot of people stream on Monday, though. I'll have to try to figure that out. Anyway, thanks for joining, everybody. Thanks, mods. And even you, Gala. <laughs> A special thank you to you <laughs> and your stack of rocks. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great rest of your weekend. I hope everybody has Monday off. Doodles. <laughs>